like our videos, go ahead and uh, uh, subscribe and share them and hit that like button for me. Hey everybody, it's Matt with Everywhere Auto. So today we're back out at this uh, Ford Expedition. We're with the Ford Expedition right now and we're replacing the oil filter adapter gasket. And uh, I'm gonna show you, I wasn't even gonna film this because there's a lot of good videos on there on the YouTube already. But, but I'm doing it in my driveway and and I'm using, it's hard to get to this stuff. So I'm just gonna show you what I used and I hope that, you know, working on these 5.4 5 Tritons isn't so uh, intimidating after you watch some of these videos that I've been doing. Okay, you can see the, the oil filter adapter right there. And then I'm gonna bring the camera back so you can see where I'm at. Okay, I'm coming in from this corner right here. So that oil filter adapter has four bolts holding it in, okay? All you gotta do is take your oil filter off and then you're gonna disconnect your, there's a little plug in there. I can't even get a camera in there, but all I did to disconnect the, the I think it's a oil temp sensor connection. I just pushed it down, stuck a little screwdriver in there and pushed it down and then I pulled it out. Right here in the video, I'm going to insert a picture of where the four bolts are on the oil filter adapter. Now I'm gonna show you the combination of extensions and sockets that I use to get to each of these four bolts. Okay, so we've got a 10 millimeter swivel socket attached to a uh, wobble socket attached to a, a wobble extension attached to another wobble extension attached to a flex head ratchet and I already broke this loose before I started filming so it's loose right now and now I'm gonna show you the next the next one okay so for the bolt to the rear of uh, on the vehicle Fuck. All right, for the next bolt on the right, it's the same combination, except I just added another little extension. You need this, you need this little baby wobble right here in order to get the last little bit of flex you need. All right, so I got the adapter off. I cleaned up the mating surfaces with a razor blade and some and some uh, brake cleaner, and then here. We have our new gasket. We're gonna put this bad Jackson back together. All right, I guess I never got to wrap that uh, that oil filter adapter video up properly. So I'm just gonna let you know, getting it in wasn't that difficult. Uh, I made it harder on myself than I needed to. What I did was I just kind of took the gasket, took the adapter, stuck a took two of the bolts and put them through there and kind of tried to use the bolts to hold them in place that's that's stupid just take some rtv and glue the gasket to the adapter call it good uh, i ended up just fighting it in there you get uh, i started with the bottom left bolt because it was the easiest to get my little fingers on and i i just started it making sure that it was through the gasket and then i lined up the gasket on a second hole because I figured if, as long as I get two lined up it'll be okay and then I uh, I got that little part threaded in and then I kind of started to snug it down just because uh, the bolts are really long so it's uh, you need to snug it down up into the block and then I just got I just tightened it down they're pretty tight I didn't use a torque wrench or anything but the main, the main key to all this is I used a 10 mil swivel socket. I swivel socket. I used a 10 mil uh, deep well extension, a deep well socket, sorry. And then you saw I used a really long wobble extension. I used a medium wobble extension and then a stubby wobble extension. And all that let me curve my, curve my ratchet up in there 
and break it all loose. So I know that this stuff can look pretty difficult, especially if, if you're not watching any of these videos and, and uh, you're just crawling under there and you're like, and you start to stick your ratchet up in there and your extensions, you're like, how am I ever, how am I supposed to ever get anything up in here? You know, it can be pretty intimidating, but you know, just, just look at the extensions I'm using and just reach up in there. And a lot of the jobs that you're doing, you can just take a step back and all your problems, like all your solutions aren't necessarily in the same area that your problem is, okay? If you've got a problem over here, you know, getting a bolt out, you might be able to come across the car if you have a long enough extension and get in there. So if you got any questions, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If this video helped you at all, if you could uh, hit the like button and subscribe and share it. And if there's any other any other question any other videos I could I could do to help you guys out to answer any questions, just let me know. All right, guys, keep an eye on the hill. What? What? Oh my. God.